everybody. It's your boy, Low Spark Chris. Ready for a fun new installment of Watch Me Ride a Motorcycle Around. Man, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous! Then I wasn't addicted. It's been a while. your friends those are our new MLB members they're about to beat the crap out of you so I thought today I'm gonna do a little ride and I do a little vlogging and I was like what can I vlog about and boom it hit me like a ton of bricks or having your teeth extracted so last uh, Friday a week from this past Friday I had my four wisdom teeth taken out. Yep, I'm not a young buck, so I waited a long time to do it. So uh, I thought, you know, here's a good an idea for good idea for a vlog. Wisdom lost and wisdom gained. You know, I'm uh, thanks to everyone out there, especially the smaller channels, hooking me up with some of their followers. I'm sitting pretty at 74 followers right now. I know, I'm internet famous, but... So I thought maybe it's a good time just to tell y'all a little bit about myself. So Low Spark Chris, be my name. So I've uh, only had a YouTube channel for... Well, less than a year in July when I got this bike. Shortly thereafter, I at least started a channel. Or got a name or, or something, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. And I fell in love with it. I mean, watching moto vlogs is all I do. Just love the whole aspect of riding and learning about people that ride and what they do, what they like, all that fun stuff. This is my second bike that I've ever owned. First bike I ever owned was a 2011 Harley Davidson Sportster, which I only owned for about two years. I literally put I don't know, 2,500 miles on the thing. Never rode it. I was in a completely different station in life. I was single, hadn't been had been divorced. So, uh, you know, I was out partying all the time, being stupid. So I got this bike back last July. It's 2016 Yamaha SE07. Best purchase I've made. So, a little bit about myself. I'm in the 40 club. I am 40 years old. Can't believe I'm 40 years old. I feel like I'm about, meh. We'll call it, we'll call it 27. <laughs> my body doesn't feel that way sometimes, but my brain does. I've got a, a little boy. He'll be 10 in a couple months. I'm getting ready to get married in June the most wonderful woman and she has two boys as well uh, one of them is 10 already 10 the other one's about to be 16 which I can't believe funny enough I'm a risk manager riding a motorcycle and I'm a risk manager personal risk manager here's one that'll make you feel like I'm a total freak I literally watch in circulation start at season one episode one until the finale and then restart it all over again the TV show friends say never all right Rach the big question is does he like you right because if he doesn't like you this is all a moo point huh. a moo point <laughs> yeah it's like a cow's opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> it's moo. Like when I'm folding laundry or 
when I go to sleep, like literally every night when I go to sleep, I put friends on and watch it. Yeah, that's weird, I know. It's like my binky. And the scary thing is, is I see my son doing the exact same thing as me. He will watch, he will focus in on one thing and watch it 40 times on Netflix. So unsub right now if you want. Because <laughs> yeah, I know that's a little strange. In college, people called me Mr. Time because I am as time anal as they come. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Oh wait, we were supposed to turn there, weren't we? Dumbass, someone's pulled out right in front of me. Are you trying not to get hit when we go out all the time? Huh? What? I know. Went to the University of Georgia. I'm a bulldog. Although my entire family are huge Alabama fans. I was born in Alabama. My little sister went there. My mom, like most Alabama fans, did not go there. Favorite food? Sure. For any man, you'd love a good burger. I think my favorite burger I've ever eaten around Atlanta at least. I don't know man. I love the varsity. And that's not even that great. That's like one grade above fast food. But it is so so tasty and greasy. If you've never been to Atlanta and you come, you gotta go to the varsity. There's another fun fact is that this group's following me and I am the most directionally challenged mofo you'll ever you'll ever meet. I love me a good scary movie. Say my my favorite scary movie. In a long, long time. Is the conjuring. Hey, wanna play hide and clap? The first one and the second one. If you haven't seen The Conjuring, go see that movie or rent it. It's on Netflix, actually. Like most vloggers, I am a gaming nerd. I don't do Twitch or any of that stuff. And I play on a PS4. But I love me a good, good nerdy game. I mainly play Madden and uh, any of the Call of Duties. Whatever the newest Call of Duty is, is the one I'm playing usually. Call of Duty World War II is what I'm rocking right now. So if you play that game, Low Spark 420 is my uh, handle. I dropped the 420 on my uh, YouTube for obvious reasons. I'm 40. I don't uh, necessarily party like I used to. Did you see that guy roll his window up? <laughs> he was like, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> it's too loud. <laughs> Man, I keep forgetting what the hell I was talking about. That's an odd looking McDonald's. That's a modern. It's a modern McDonald's. Oh. Another fun fact. Huge music fan. I mean, most people are have their, you know, what they're into. But fun fact about me: in high, well, really in college, Athens has a huge, you know, music scene. Specifically, in the late '90s, you know, mid to through the mid 2000s, the jam band scene was huge, and. Uh, 
uh, a local, well, they're from Athens, a band by the name of Widespread Panic. They were our jam. Seen widespread panic a hundred plus times since I was uh, 18, and people will probably think, "Well, that's stupid." But you gotta understand, if you know anything about the jam band scene, you can go see widespread panic three or four nights in a row and never hear the same song twice. They had a similar touring model to the Grateful Dead, and that's kind of the same scene. Another interesting fact, when I was in high school, well, hell, high school, college, after college, and I got the name of high school, I got the name Farley, and it stuck, man, oh, did it stick, it stuck so bad, I mean, literally, there are parents in high school who, to this day, probably think my name's Farley. Chris Farley, you know, the funny fat kid. I remember one time in college at a band party, they put a, I put a sport coat on that was way too small and it fat man in a little coat. Is this your coat? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. Don't. <laughs> fat guy in a little coat. Bad guy in a little gold. Take it off, dickhead. I'm serious. Richard, what's happening? Oh, oh. <laughs> Woo. Funny fact, laundry. Doing laundry literally is like therapy for me. And in a house with, uh, Three boys, me and my fiance, and her mom actually lives with us. I don't actually I don't do her mom's unmentionables, but I do. do <laughs> but I do wash her her uh, towels. There's just a lot of laundry to do. I'm the one person that does it. Yep, Cinderella does the laundry at our house. Yeah, I know I'm weird. But what are you gonna do? No one's normal. Thanks again. Appreciate all y'all's support. The folks that comment on my videos and watch them and help me get better. You know I got love and I support you right back. Again, appreciate it. Nothing but love. Peace.